My name is Dr. Carla Abdelnur. I'm a postdoctoral scholar at the Neurology and Neurological Sciences Department of Stanford University. Lewy body dementia, sometimes referred to as LBD, is the second most common type of progressive dementia after Alzheimer's disease, impacting over 1.4 million people in the United States alone. Because LBD symptoms may closely resemble other more commonly known disorders, it is widely underdiagnosed. Today, I'm sharing one of the 10 things you should know about LBD to help you gain a better understanding of Lewy body dementia. Ready? Let's dive in. Lewy body dementias are the second most common form of degenerative dementia. The only other form of degenerative dementia that is more common than LBD is Alzheimer's disease. LBD is an umbrella term for dementia associated with the presence of Lewy bodies that are abnormal deposits of a protein called alpha-synuclein in the brain. More research for Lewy body dementia or LBD is urgently needed. Research needs include tools for early diagnosis such as screening questionnaires, biomarkers, neuroimaging techniques, and more effective therapies. With further research, LBDA may ultimately be treated and prevented through early detection and neuroprotective interventions. Physician education is urgently needed. An increasing number of general practitioners, neurologists, and other medical professionals are beginning to learn to recognize and differentiate the symptoms of Lewy body dementia, the most misdiagnosed dementia. However, more education on the diagnosis and treatment of LBD is essential. Individuals and families living with Lewy should not have to face this disease alone. Lewy body dementia or LBD affects every aspect of a person, their mood, the way they think, and the way they move. People with LBD and their families will need considerable resources and assistance from healthcare professionals and agencies. The combination of cognitive, motor, and behavioral symptoms create a highly challenging set of demands for continuing care. Early recognition, diagnosis, and treatment of Lewy body dementia or LBD can improve the patient's quality of life. LBD may affect an individual's cognitive abilities, motor function, and or ability to complete activities of daily living. Treatment should always be monitored by a physician and may include medications, non-pharmacological therapies, exercise, diet, improved sleep habits, behavioral modifications, and structured daily routines. Traditional antipsychotic medications may be contraindicated for individuals living with Lewy body dementia or LBD. Many traditional antipsychotic medications such as haloperidol, are sometimes prescribed to control behavioral symptoms. However, in LBD, these medications can cause a severe worsening of movement and a potentially fatal condition known as neuroleptic malignant syndrome, which causes severe fever, muscle rigidity, and breakdown that can lead to kidney failure. The most common symptoms of Lewy body dementia include cognitive deficits such as difficulties with thinking, planning, and processing information, as well as memory problems or trouble understanding visual information, fluctuations in cognition, attention, or alertness, problems with movement, including tremors, stiffness, slowness and difficulty walking, visual hallucinations, sleep disorders such as acting out one's dreams while asleep, behavioral and mood symptoms including depression, anxiety, apathy, agitation, delusions 
or paranoia. And changes in autonomic body functions such as blood pressure control, temperature regulation, and bladder and bowel function. Early and accurate diagnosis of Lewy body dementia is essential because LBD patients may react to certain medications differently than Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease patients. A variety of drugs, including anticholinergics and some anti-Parkinsonian medications can worsen LBD symptoms. The symptoms of Lewy body dementia or LBD are treatable. All medications prescribed for LBD are approved or recommended for other diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease with dementia and offer symptomatic benefits for cognitive movement and behavioral problems. Lewy body dementia or LBD can have three common presentations. Regardless of the initial symptom, over time all three presentations of LBD will develop very similar cognitive, physical, sleep and behavioral features. Some individuals will start with a movement disorder leading to the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and later develop dementia. This is diagnosed as Parkinson's disease dementia. Another group of individuals will start out with a cognitive disorder that may be mistaken for Alzheimer's disease. But over time, two or more distinctive features become apparent, leading to the diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies or DLB. Lastly, a small group will first present with neuropsychiatric symptoms, which can include hallucinations, behavioral problems, and difficulty with complex mental activities, also leading to an initial diagnosis of DLB. Learn more about Lewy body dementia at lbda.org. Be sure to share with your family, friends, care partners, and healthcare providers. No one should have to face LBD alone. Together, we will improve the life of those living with Lewy.